side. You already know. What is it? I'm on the fast lane from LA to Tokyo. I'm actually living in LA. Anyway, we're trying to find the equation of an ellipse. They told us it was an ellipse, so we know it's of the form. Boom, x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared. And that's gonna be one. Now, I don't care which one's A and which one's B. I'm just gonna let B be the big one. Anyways, they give us that our foci are 5 O. Oh. And minus 5 O. Oh. Oh. And then our vertices are 8 O oh, and minus 8 O. Oh. So we go and we need to find our characteristics. We need to find our A and our B. So let's plot something. Let's go and let's plot the foci and the vertices. Boom. Boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I feel like I'm just dancing through this problem. Yeah. So then, bam. That's a eight o minus eight o and an eight o. And then we put our foci on there also. Our foci lie five units away. One, two, three, four, five. Bam. Foci. One, two, three, four, five. Bam. Foci. I'm so foci. So I already know my C. What's my C going to be? My C is the distance away from center. I also know my center is at zero, zero. How do I know that? It lies right in between the foci. So then my C going to be five. Boom. That's C. Uh-huh. What do I also know? I know the length of my major. My major is going to be eight. Great, because that's eight units. Boom. So I know my big. This is my big, big G. And I also know my C. Do I need my C? Yeah, I got my C. I need my small. That's the minor axis. And how do we get that? It's big squared minus small. Squared, that's going to be c squared. So let's plug those in there. That's 8 squared. It's big because it's on the major. Minus, it's kind of a big deal. We don't know our small yet. I'm just going to call it s squared. That's going to be c squared. I should have probably also called it b because my y is going to be my small. Anyways, that c was 5. Bam. So that's 64 minus s squared is 25. And the difference is, let's see, 64 minus 25, you're a 14, you're a 5. That's 5. That's 9, all right. 39. Woo! So I have minus s. Yeah. Squared is equal to a minus 39. Fine. I subtract that off and s squared is 39. Fine. Then I take the square root of both sides. But I'm not going to forget the plus or minus square root 39. So 36 is 6. So this is just a little bit more than 6. So if I was going to go and graph this guy, I'd go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and a little bit more. And I'd go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh boy. And then this example comes full circle or squished circle. They didn't ask us to graph it, but I think that's nice so that you can get the picture of what we're trying to do here. Boom. Our major is x. So this is x. What's our center? 0, 0. So our h and our k is 0, 0. So then I have an x squared. I have a y. Whoa. Shorten that leg up. Y squared, there's a plus in the middle. My A, that's my big one. I know your book probably says B is the big one or whatever, but eight, great. It's actually eight squared. Mm -hmm. And then my small, square root of 39, seems like such a curious number. Squared, maybe we should check that. I don't know though. 
But then we go though, and we set it equal to one, because that's the general form. Let's clean it up. That's x squared over 64 plus y squared over 39, and that's equal to one. Fun, and we just found the equation with those characteristics. Yeah. Um, box and flower. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. <laughs>